<coughs> oh, what's the fucking best light here? Um, I wonder if you can see much of this. Probably a lot of it. I'll just hold for a bit. So I was just thinking about everything, as per as per usual, culminating everything I've been doing and everything I've been through and everything I've been experiencing and in the lens of the very now, as I've been showing you, I'm really realizing what I'm really bu building. I'm not got any particular intent in what I'm building. I mean, like, I want to build a musical instrument. Absolutely, that's like a huge passion of mine and it's the driving force of this as well as a few other reasons it's it seems like a a good vessel to get what i'm finding out is a far vaster idea um <coughs> a far more fundamental idea um the giveaway is in the fact that it's a sequencer um in terms of what it sequences is irrelevant really because it's any form of data but the crux that makes it very different the, the, the common language between all sequencing functions is of course time um, and how I express that uh, in the system is very fractal and very um, uh, very liquid you know, it's, um, I'm expressing time as, as uh, sample points across the vector essentially so um, any that can build into itself you know and fractal out fractal in however it wants um, that works so you have a very very formable lattice um, which um, is exactly the kind of system you need to build a neural network like addressing across uh, a multi-core processor and when I say multi-core I'm thinking not your quads, uh, well, it's nearly common for 12 and 16s now. Um, I'm a bit out of date with my computer. This old dog, <laughs> go to sleep. <sighs> it can't, um, the mouse is about to die too, so. The system I'm building here would help that a lot. Um, basically, it's a box between uh, you and the computer <coughs> now. I don't even necessarily need the hardware to be able to do what I'm thinking about in terms of the, the real-time uh, readdressing logic based on um, you know, algorithms to tessellate uh, geometries into themselves. There's a, there's a word for that that makes sense in computing terms that I forget, but it folds into itself. Um, and so you get like this perfect compression algorithm, I guess, so it can move you know, the uh, distribution of any uh, any logic connections um, without forgetting like having to have ex like data watching the shape of it yeah it, it it contains information within itself in a way so <coughs> I'll explain that in detail later um, but um, for this device like probably FPGA would be a really good uh, format to, to run this because it's very um, clock intense I want shit happening on cycles, um, hence, yeah, readdressable logic per cycle. <coughs> but this doesn't need to be readdressing at the hardware logic level yet. Don't worry about that. Uh, this device basically sits between you and the computer, so you can hook in any sort of like mini device or whatever. You know that would make sense for a music machine, absolutely. Uh, but it also hooks between your computer and it's reading like. I'd I'd like to take full video sample of the screen basically act as it's a, a screen capture as well as um, having all of the uh, available um, you know user data I, su I suppose you know file structures HID data you know so you've got your mouse keyboard strokes and everything like that to be able to receive and send it to the computer because being between you and the computer is absorbing data from the computer all the time so if you you know do a repeatable task you want to do a lot and you want to be able to do it on any folder or you know function anywhere in your file system for example um, <coughs> then this system will record what you did because it's always timing your every move and it's got complex 
data and movement and the pattern of movement and the activities that are actually happening on the computer. So it knows what you did, it can play it back and it can compress it and it can make it, you know, um, applicable to systems at different levels because of it knows that data and it's been watching you how you do it. And, you know, I don't want to say click of the button because like even that is like, it's not part of how this UI works. Um, the end result is my own operating system, which would be just crazy different, better to anything out there at the moment, but only makes sense in the context of the system that I'm building. Um, somewhat, you could run it on a fucking one of these, and anything really, but the point being, <coughs> it functions off the same idea, the same concept, the same logic. Um, now, The fastest way to get this to the users, though, is to be purely agnostic in the data. So you can plug in at any computer. You do work in your operating system, whatever you use, Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever. It doesn't matter because it's just watching you and uh, tracing as much uh, structural data as it can, which you know any utility can really do over over USB. It's fine. Um, what is? Um, <coughs> so yeah, it's tracing your normal use cases and you're building macros as you, as you go along and that means you know a repeatable task and once you're building up more and more repeatable tasks, those repeatable tasks can create you know super tasks that they evolve in there and this is the thing, anything you do you start to find the patterns and interchangeable parts you can start making really powerful um, uh, operations that could just bypass so much of the slow interaction with computers that um, it would make sense to start developing operating systems to be more flux around it. This is a lattice in which all grows. This is the thing. So I, I like the name lattice, although I saw the FPGA chip the other day called lattice. So that term is out there, but I think it's something around it. Give me time. Maybe I should still call it liquid grid. I always like that name. There we go. Um, but yeah. You know, it starts making you know an ideas economy out there because like suddenly you've got this system that makes way more sense to develop you know both hardware and software to suit around it because it's just because the platform will be open source it makes sense for anyone to use it you know and it makes sense for me to develop it because then suddenly I've got a system in which everyone's working on that's going to work well for me obviously so you know capitalism tech and tick there and then you've got you know the transformative aspect aspects where it changes the world because that suddenly there's an open structure that um, just speeds up you know how humans operate between other humans eventually that's the big thing this is where this goes this is just another step you know I'm getting I've had like the vast parts and the narrow parts and now I'm getting all the steps in between it's it's great just finding this out <coughs> you know I have ideas but they're ahead of my knowledge at the same time, so it just takes time to filter in and they, it, it starts blooming, it's, it's amazing. Um, this is just going to change everything. Um, but I, I don't see what it couldn't change. You know, it's just it's, this clever sequencing. It's not even clever. It's not even clever, that's the thing. It's, there's no, you know, special algorithm or anything. Like, I'm doing some pretty basic maths. Uh, it's just, like, the base structure of how um, it's sense of communication is what I, I, I've changed and I'm using a uh, well a constant in everything which I don't think has been exploited quite correctly on anything I've seen in, in the world of commu computing I mean I've seen stuff get close and usually the stuff that gets close is music stuff or really like extreme um, creative art stuff like, you know, Maxim SP or um, uh, Pure Data or, you know, I don't know, Able Alive or <coughs> Tosh Designer, VDMX, stuff like that, you know, because uh, they have that fractal idea in it, but it's still not completely um, exploited to its best ability the old, old time because it's still treated in either linear or, you know, fractions of linear with maybe, you know, some fun maths in between, but that's about it. Um, I think what I'm building here is just so fundamentally built on on oscillations of time. Um, so.
well as cycles, there's a lattice of cycles, you know, all, it's always in motion and it's uh, basically much closer to how organic minds seem to operate if, you know, you look at the communication in neurons, they, they're all relatively talking to each other, there's no sort of absolute structure, it's all relative completely how information passes around in the network, so, um, <coughs> you know, computers at the moment are very hierarchical, absolutist kind of machines and that needs it keeps breaking apart uh which is a great reflection of you know the world you know if you look at it geopolitically or any any function you know civilization as a whole um is quite similar to uh the meltdown bug in intel chips where um suddenly because of the structure the kernel has to talk to a, a you know a regimented slot on the silicon it got caught out, it got exploited, because it's always got this hardened hierarchical structure to it, which can be broken. And, uh, yeah, computers, geopolitics, all the same. Um, without going too far into into that spectrum, um, <coughs> it's uh, important to note just how um, non-invasive this technology is. Oh, I don't have to break even a warranty on anything like this GoPro, for example. You know, I can augment it. This technology augments everything, and then the technology augments around it. I mean, look what's just happened, not just happened, but has happened with, with Bitcoin, for example. Forget the value of it and jump into that. That sense of value out of it, though, is driving something far more important. It's, it's driving the technologies we actually develop. And there's now specific computers built to crunch as many uh, 256-bit hash, uh, hashes. Is that hashes? It's just called hashes, I think. Yeah, encrypted hashes like as fast as possible. Because the faster you get that, the more Bitcoin you get. And that's got value now, right? Lots of value. So a lot of money is going into it to the specific technology. See what I'm saying here? If I give value to a, a, a technology industry grows around it because that's what we start trading with it's how it works so it's non-invasive and it's also totally invasive in the fact that it's it changed the reality around it but it doesn't force anything yeah it does i don't need to replace a macintosh or a, a windows computer or anything like that i don't need to replace you know phillips's version of something something or body novations something something I, it's it, it augments everything. Everything gets to play its role, but uh, it, everything gets to play with what I've developed. It applies to everything. So, you know, that's that's the nexus in which this changes our reality, really, to put it like. Um, it's a good idea, I think. And I think it's... I think it's worth getting behind. <laughs> it's going to be good. So, yeah, I think anyone... I've ever uh, been in contact with for the past ever uh, that I've shared these crazy ideas with might see that they're not that crazy anymore. There's a very realness to them that is just uh, beyond imagination. It's actually doable um, and it's already happening and the more support I can get with it the faster it grows because it uh, is the lattice in which all grows so you know yeah I'll throw up a funding campaign you know dollar money very useful right now even more invaluable is the network of humans that I've met over my lifetime which each has a interchanging part to play not only with my life but something that I can play back in their life but also the play interplay between all of these people you know everything they have is a need somewhere else within these networks and it's self-organizing yeah so if i can show that self-organizing flow we can more efficiently share the only economy that there really is which is our entire humanness you know. it's like <coughs> through who I know to who they know to who they know forks out suddenly we have every skill we need to like build a functioning community and you step out from there yeah 
uh, and there's a locality a locality to that that can't be broken because as soon as you centralize things it's like anything that gets between that position or destroys that position you're fucked but this is in constant motion there's there's no way to pin down um, the uh, the, <coughs> the natural human um, social fractal structure um, because it just receives no matter what you take out of it it has the seed in it to do whatever and like our DNA has the instructions set for our, our entire body our entire consciousness um, you can compact down all these fractal everything I mean this is why you know, it makes sense that the observable universe is considered thus far uh, 99.9999999999% nothing and it's uh, I'm all for absurdism but uh, that's outside my bounds of, uh, of acceptance because uh, our, observa our observable universe is entirely limited by our observability of that universe you know what's our lens you know what are we lensing through here shift the lens start you know get out of space time and have a little play in time space for a bit where uh, you know the very function of time has its own spatial dimension so to speak you start playing with those geometries and it's like they have a very uh, profound seemingly chaotic play between them if you don't understand what's what's changing but um again it depends on your viewpoint isn't it chaos is just uh, an expression of the thus far inexpressible shift that lens uh, fair enough it's not a huge circle appearing and disappearing it's actually a three-dimensional ball bouncing around you just keep stepping up from there you know oh tesseract that just looks chaotic it's like it's actually quite <coughs> la -dee da when you go up you know a few six dimensions or whatever I don't fucking where but um yeah so it makes sense that if you start developing a computer that um, reflects those uh, uh, natures those 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 laws of function so to speak I mean you're going beyond no what well, you can still call it a law I suppose it, that that depends on your sort of lensing as well I suppose but anyway um so I guess in summary that's uh that's the potential where I'm getting at very quickly and I think it's very very worthwhile to start really sharing the crux of this because I'm not really really so, like that's why I haven't shared as much as I have yet I'm getting to the crux of it now and it's just like ah we're getting to the point where it can be gotten from anyone <laughs> you know does it matter if you're you know crazy half space musician from from mushroom planet playing away on your spectral keyboards or you know you're a computer scientist building chips out of molasses or you know you cooking up like just godlike meals you know as head chef in the kitchen all the way through to like this is the thing you start looking at this uh, it, you can't look at any function as hierarchical anymore it doesn't make sense hierarchically um doesn't mean that there's not some kind of chain of command but the chain of command is completely fluid in the way that we function fractally that it can recede us in all of us so it kind of the hierarchy is you know the very function that we're cooperating in so it's, it's bypasses the concept really um <coughs> so yeah moving moving that fractal it's just like every piece is it's like the economy is more based on the uh, the flow in which getting to uh, your need resolved is the uh, uh, fastest path between the, those fractals so it actually makes sense to reorganize uh, naturally to where we need to be just following our heart's intent is what will make this work perfectly so I can augment where we're at though to help get to that place so we'll start mimicking the very technology uh, that we're just trying to get some work done on <laughs> it's like we're trying to just like organize my, I mean my life is uh, 
chaotic at, at, at best. Um, <coughs> um, I've, I've often said that, you know, waking up is a roll of the dice, and yet I don't believe in random, so, um, not that doing, you know, random is just uh, a perceptual issue, you know, it's a perceptual issue, because you're always going to find, like, a, a function that leads up to what is just, like, a, a highly sensitive, dyna dynamic, you know, responsible system to to this perceptual vector, you know. So I went to see start looking down the very fine art. They, they, they're fucking everywhere. What's going on? Doesn't make sense. There's a geometry to that that makes total fucking sense. Uh, uh, if you're still looking at them where it's like bouncing electrons off things to, to view something, then like it, shit's going to look chaotic because you're only going to hit the uh, impactual, you know, spectrum of a, of a fucking electron, aren't you? that's what you're going to get in return so you kind of got to step out and just feel what the pattern is I, you know back to the hey is it a particle is it a wave maybe it's a bunch of eels in a bin I don't know could be all of those things <coughs> did it only exist when I looked at it or uh, did I only exist when it noticed me I don't know whatever fucking um it's because, yeah, you're looking for a very fine, fine spectrum and missing a lot of the long wave, you know, functions. Just like, so, I mean, if you change this time shape, you know, in a very meaningful way in the uh, time space, or it's like time is just like a beautiful crystal or, or you know, globulous blob or something, you know, it would make sense in however sort of way you would experience it. So, get creative. I don't know. Uh, smoke DMT and just have a look at it. That would, yeah, sometimes that's good. But you might, you know, you got to go back into this body. It takes a few decades to figure out whatever. I'm doing the hard work and, you know, spread, spread out. Shh, shh. Quiet. Shh, shush your eyes. Um, <coughs> trying to think of the words. Yeah, it's because I didn't write a script, so this is loose as fuck. So either I put this up with a bit of chop, or I just work, keep refining my system, so I watch back on it and build storyboards out of it, you know. Or I actually use this network that I'm talking about instead of being fucking afraid of talking to anyone. But that's why I'm going to do the shout out video because it's the only way now how to propagate the message properly. So because it sort of like opens this huge buzz, and then I get the you know the fractal power back of it fucking hundred people, you know, cyclically responding instead of just one at a time. So then it makes it easier to get to that one at a time and a time and a time again because you shot something out a little bit wider than uh, one fractal to another, you know, one little lens tilt. So, yeah, I guess it summarises it up because uh, I'm going pretty pretty deep into this, into the philosophy of it all. Um, I'm just going to make way better computers. Um, I always knew I was going to build like an operating system as a kid, but like that kind of comes in and flux out of the dream because like people talk about it's like it's pretty hard to make an OS. <laughs> yeah, like uh, that's why there's only a couple around. And I was like, yeah, that sounds like the kind of story that if you wanted to be the only couple around of an operating system, you you'd propagate to crush anyone's dreams for ever experiment with the idea of what an OS is because it's a language problem you know you start defining things as something that someone somewhere does uh, like it's tied you know it's the same structure that I'm talking about uh, you know social structure and geopolitic political structure and fucking computer structure and logic and whatever it's all the same um, it's all the same stuff so language as well starts reading itself in highly define me meanings. I mean look at the whole new speak ways shit going on at the moment with with uh what's been turned into from again using the word uh political incorrectness now has such a weight to it that I don't I don't get a chance to uh redefine it now. It's oh I can already hear the definition echoing off like such a defined state, such a defined geometry of that word, such a weight to it that it's not useful in sentence structures anymore because nothing can actually flow and propagate from it. There's no argumental point to it. It's just one point to another point to another point to another point ricocheting off itself. <coughs> because you've got all of these fixed point responses to it 
this is how you actually this this is what would kill humans um the quickest at this stage if you continue down the way where you were completely reactionary it was like you'd evolve eventually this is total you know not happening all right but you, like potential right if you manage to change the communication system of all humans on this planet slowly down to a point where it was purely reactionary word to word to, to word um you'd you'd get a mental um strike space where you would uh not you, all your neural networks would be so depleted into such a singular function that i don't think you could call uh the so the the structure that it would eventuate to as as consciousness anymore i think it would be like a, just I don't know like simple wires on a on a circuit with no power source whatsoever because it's all closed link now. You eventually, stall in consciousness. It's fucking weird to actually really try to think of that. Right? It's like, but yeah, consciousness being being cycles. It's like when you bring that down to a single point, you don't have any dynamics to it anymore. So. Whoa, I got really dark. Um, <coughs> don't want that. It's not happening. Don't think about it. Oh, uh, <laughs> hypotheses. Ah, oh, chilling. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Um, but yeah, yeah. Just jump out of the language, and it helps you understand how all this propagates through through all aspects of human existence. Um, well, all existence, you know kittens and werewolves and um, uh, beastly jumpy boys they all they're all part of the animal kingdom they're all part of this like uh, you know fractals oh there we go it's just non-special so um, just life the function of life is actually a bowl of spaghetti with wheels on it um, might as well be it's, it's sort of can self permeate and de, de collapse into more useful structure if you know you want to play ball um yeah i'm gonna help a race competition i won't need to i don't need to compete with anyone i just need to make this thing and work It'll just make it work <coughs> easy done all right i'm going <laughs> calling at half hour thanks for watching <laughs> really no this is great uh it's just a crack up because i'm exhausted and um, it's the only time I'm going to do this and it's just a <laughs> it just comes out go to sleep oh my god what time is it